Not to be overly dramatic, but I did something pretty big and my life has changed forever. Hey guys, it's Adrian here, the Canadian in a t-shirt. And today, I don't need these anymore. That's right, three weeks ago, I did laser eye surgery and I'm not exaggerating. It feels like I have a new superpower. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited, but let's be real. This was a big financial decision. In fact, this was my biggest expense in the past decade. So let's talk about it. Right off the bat, I'm not a medical professional, so I'm not gonna tell you which laser eye treatment you should do, risk factors, none of that. I'm not qualified. At the end of the video, I'll tell you a bit about my experience, but what I do wanna talk about is the idea of spending money on yourself and why that's okay in moderation. Anyone who knows me will agree, I am extremely frugal. I don't like spending money. You can call it a scarcity mindset, you can say I'm a minimalist, sure, but I just don't enjoy spending money, especially on material things. As you can tell, I don't care about fashion. I wear t-shirts every day. I don't care about flashy cars, I'm still driving my 2015 Hyundai Elantra, and I love it. And fancy food? Unless I'm at a business meeting, you'll never see me there. Spending money on things doesn't do much for me. That little dopamine rush fades away really quickly, but what I do love is investing and experiences. Now those give me a true sense of joy and fulfillment, and that feeling doesn't fade away. Just last week, I went to a fancy business dinner, and I've already forgotten how it tastes. Meanwhile, it's been over 10 years years since I went skydiving for the first time, and I could still describe that feeling like it was just yesterday. Of course, everyone is different. This is just my personality and the way I'm built. All this to say that I do not enjoy spending. I would rather set that money aside and invest in my future, and that's the way I choose to look at this laser eye surgery. I spent a lot of money, but I consider it a personal investment in myself, and it will lead to richer experiences. How much money are we talking about? Well, I did the smile procedure. It's newer than LASIK and it costs a bit more. For both eyes, I spent a total of $5,700. That's a lot of money. Like I said, it's the single biggest expense in the last 10 years. And the second biggest expense of my life after my car. Of course, that doesn't include my real estate. I bought those as a rental property, so they're an investment, not an expense. And again, I choose to look at this eye surgery as an investment. So for me, it's well worth it. We should all strive to be responsible with our money, set some aside for a rainy day, and invest for our future and that of our family. But it is totally okay to spend money on things that bring you joy in life. That's the whole point of money. It's just a tool to provide you with security and pleasure, and you need both in moderation. Don't be careless with your spending, chasing short-term gratification, and falling into credit card debt. And please, don't buy expensive things just to impress other people. That's a huge mistake. Be responsible, set a budget, and be intentional with your money. Spend it on things that actually matter to you, again, within your limit. Famous example, buying Starbucks coffee every day. Is it a waste of money? Well, it depends. Will you save money making coffee at home instead? Absolutely. But if you truly love the taste of Starbucks and that social interaction you get helps you start the day off on the right foot, then enjoy it. I don't think that's a waste at all. It's not just about the dollar amounts. You need balance in life, especially when it comes to money. And that's something I've been working on. I know that I'm too frugal, I'll admit it, especially the past few years since I quit my job. All my life, most of my favorite things were free or very cheap. Going for epic bike rides, playing sports and board games, walking and exploring with my family. I don't need to spend money to find enjoyment, but there are things I love that I have been missing out on, mostly due to time, but money as well. One of my favorite things in life is going to the cinema, watching a movie and being transported to another world for two hours. I love it. But I'm ashamed to say that I've barely gone to the movie theater the past few years. Travel is another one. I haven't had a proper vacation that wasn't business related since 2019, but that's gonna change next week, so I'm super excited. Finding balance with my time and money and making an effort to enjoy every day, that's my biggest goal for 2024. And now that I don't need glasses, I'm off to a great start. For those of you who were born with perfect eyesight, I feel like it's a superpower that you'll never fully appreciate. And yes, $5,700 is a lot of money, but let me put it this way. Every morning I wake up and now I can clearly see outside my window. I see my neighbors across the street. I even see birds in the sky. For the past 20 years, I just saw blurry shapes. It's hard to describe how happy that makes me. So yes, this was definitely worth the money. Don't get me wrong, glasses are okay. I've never minded how I look in them. 
I like to think that glasses make me look smarter or more of a scholar. I'll leave that to you to decide. But now, I don't need them. I can wear them as a choice. I can play basketball without the fear of breaking them. I can walk in the rain without fogging up. Even for YouTube, it's gonna be much easier to film and set up my lights. I don't have to stress about the angles and worry about the glare reflecting off my glasses. But at the same time, the glasses look has been part of my brand, if you wanna call it that, from day one. I've always been that nerdy guy in glasses who talks about money and taxes. Forgive the rhyme, but I need your help. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So what do you guys think? Should I keep wearing glasses in my videos? Or do you like the no glasses look? I'm genuinely curious what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. I'll also start a poll on Instagram, Blossom, and the community tab here on YouTube. The glasses might go away, but the t-shirts will always stay. For those of you who are interested in laser eye surgery, I chose to go with the smile procedure over LASIK. It's a much smaller incision, so the recovery is usually quicker. I'm not the expert, but that's what my doctor told me. I'll be happy to answer questions about my experience in the comments below, but here's one piece of advice. You only have one pair of eyes, so don't cheap out. And this is coming from someone frugal. I've seen many discount ads, even Groupon deals for laser eye surgery. I wouldn't recommend that. Find a surgeon and a clinic in your area that is reputable and has a proven track record over years. If you live in Toronto, I went to the Herzig Eye Institute, and they were fantastic. Believe me, I bombarded them with endless questions, and to their credit, they put up with me until my mind was at ease. I'll admit, I was nervous, but through the initial consultation, to the surgery, and through recovery, they were great. Whoever you go with, don't feel pressured. Take your time and ask your questions. It's your right to choose who to work with and only once you feel comfortable. Last piece of advice, try to find a clinic that offers a lifetime warranty. If 20 years later your vision starts to slip, you'll be covered for another surgery free of charge. I spoke to a few clinics, but Herzig Eye Institute, they offered me the lifetime warranty. And for me, that sealed the deal. I hope you found this video helpful and comment down below, glasses or no glasses. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Canadian in a T-shirt. Bye guys.